the group I will be focusing on is my family during our annual vacation to Acunquit, Maine. This group consists of my family of four, including myself, my older sister Corey, my mom, and my dad. The place that this group calls a second home is Acunquit, Maine. Place is a broad term defined as a particular region, center of population, or location. We have been traveling to this designated place each year for 20 years, with the exception of last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This place holds a significant meaning to each member of the group because of the amazing memories, laughs, and overall happiness that has been experienced there. According to Cole, group roles are patterns of behavior that are demonstrated by members of a group. Many group and individual roles demonstrated by the members of the group tend to be interchangeable and evolving, but there are some roles that have stayed consistent to each member. My mom assumes the role of orienter and harmonizer. She is the rock of the family and always mediates any conflict that arise between other group members. My dad is the energizer and encourager of the group. He is always high energy, especially during our family beach soccer games, and he is always encouraging other members of the group to be active and make new memories. My sister has consistently filled the role of playboy and opinion giver. She is always providing her opinion, even when it is unwanted, and always finding ways to entertain the family using sarcasm, jokes, or insults, generally directed at myself. I fill the role of initiator, contributor, and compromiser. I'm always finding new things for us to do, whether it be in town, at the beach, or even at the hotel. While most of the time the group members are on board with my ideas, I always encourage compromise so that everyone enjoys what we end up doing. The OTPF states that routines are patterns of behavior that are observable, regular, and repetitive that provide structure to daily life. Each day of our vacation, we would take part in a very similar routine that consists of waking up, taking a bike ride on a beach trail, heading into town to get coffee and breakfast, going back to the hotel and getting ready for the day, walking to the beach, staying at the beach until around 4 p.m., heading back to the hotel to clean up before dinner, heading into town to one of our favorite restaurants, getting dessert, and heading back to our hotel for a game or movie night. While some days are different depending on factors like weather, this has been generally the daily routine for the 20 years my family has been vacationing in a gunkwit. According to Yalom, individuals are made up by reflected appraisals, or in other words, humans develop self-insight and self-awareness through interactions with others. This is the basis for the therapeutic factor called interpersonal learning. This factor is displayed through the interactions and behaviors of the group members. Like mentioned earlier, my sister Corey is always providing opinions even when they're unwanted. She is also known to provide feedback to other group members to have them reflect on their behaviors and how it affects other group members. This is known as the input step of interpersonal learning in the feedback loop. Naturally, the other group members provide her with feedback as well, and then eventually each group member is provided with some form of interpersonal input. For example, my sister is the older sibling. There is always a great deal of negative feedback directed generally at myself for minor mistakes or behaviors. While this process can be irritating and frustrating to group members, it allows for conflict to be addressed and emotions to be expressed, which in turn increases self-awareness and overall cohesiveness. This brings us to group cohesiveness. Cole describes this as how engaged group members are with each other and how motivated they are to stay in the group. My family displays group cohesion through the constant support, expression of emotion, both positive and negative, and perseverance through conflict, which inevitably arises during family game night. Throughout our week of vacation, group members demonstrate their trust, acceptance, and love towards others, which isn't always apparent during other times of the year. This solidifies the group cohesiveness and creates an everlasting bond that is felt by each member. Norms are known as socially acceptable expectations, attitudes, and standards that are created and enforced by group members. The norms of this group have been understood and accepted by each member since the beginning of the group formation. Therefore, the expected behaviors and attitudes are known and displayed without enforcement or prompting. There are basic group norms like manners during meals and respect for other, but there are also informal norms that have manifested through the years. These include always sharing your dessert, never being afraid to get messy during lobster dinner, and my dad's favorite, always using your humor. We has several rituals that hold significant meaning to each member. 
This includes eating at our favorite restaurant, taking a midnight walk on the beach the night before we leave, and playing a family game of soccer on the beach. Our most significant ritual is attending a play at the local theater called the Gungla Playhouse. This ritual began once my sister and I were in our early teens and were able to sit through a show without complaining or falling asleep. Each year, a different production is put on, and they have never failed to amaze each group member. Since my family has always been engaged in performing arts like music, singing, and dance, this ritual is something that each member looks forward to each year. A ritual that holds meaning to two members of the group would be the annual picture on the pillar that my dad and I partake in each year. When I was three years old, my dad took a picture of me on a stone pillar next to a street sign because he liked the street name Beachmere Lane. The next year, he decided to do the same, and it became a ritual ever since. These pictures show the growth and development of myself and the environment around me, which has always brought the group members much joy and laughter, especially during my awkward teenage years. Overall, the family vacation may seem minuscule to outsiders, but holds significant meaning to the members of the group. Even through hardships and conflicts, this group has persevered and established an even stronger bond. The group members provide one another with a sense of purpose and belonging, which is a rare blessing that will never be taken for granted.